How's it going YouTube? This is Stringer J.I. and today we have a what did I buy video. I think this is number 11 on the list. Um, as always, this is about $1,500 in cards from Japan. Um, yeah, what are the details I usually give you guys? $1,500 from Japan. The reason it's always $1,500 is simply because this is the easiest amount to ship from Japan and not have issues in customs, or I should say the max. Uh, if you're, I, I, sometimes I talk more about it, but I feel like I've said it to so many times uh, at this point that, um, yeah, I feel like a broken record. So, um, you, you know the drill. If you've been here, if not, check one of the other videos out, and maybe even the first one. And, uh, yeah. But yeah, fifteen hundred dollars in raw Japanese cards. Got a lot of fun stuff to go through in this one. Um, no old back, based on what's on top here. I don't think for this order. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's get in. I'm actually gonna drop you guys down just a little bit lower. Yeah, we like that a little bit better. Come on now, there we are. All right, let's dive into this one. All right, first up. I have no idea what the name of this card is, and the reason for that is, um, and the reason this one's on top, I didn't remember ordering this, and I don't think I did order this. I don't think it was on my order list, so either this was an extra, it replaced something that I did order, and it was a mistake. Um, I don't know. Either way, um, it's a nice full art. I don't know. I know that what's this, like, one of the main trainer, uh, one of the gym leaders in, uh, in Sword and Shield, but, um... Yeah, I have no idea. I, I, I can't say exactly what this is from, but I don't believe I ordered it. It's just kind of game, so. Um, I mean, yeah, it's pretty modern. Or, well, it's pretty modern, but we got a little chipping up there, so hopefully it was an extra. Next up, we have some energies from the EX era. So we got one, two, three copies of the fighting energy. These are beautiful. I really do like these. I picked these up when I see them cheap. I just, I don't know. I think they're good buys. A uh, little beat up in the back. It's kind of to be expected with an energy, especially a hollow one from this era because people probably played with these a lot. As It's kind of like bling in your deck. We got Raikou EX. Looks like one copy. Looks like pretty clean on the front. Just uh, way off center. And a little bit of whitening on the back. Whatever that is. It just brushes right off. Pretty clean copy overall, just unfortunately off center. We got Raichu level X, or yeah, not level X. Raichu EX. One, two copies of Raichu. Back does not look terrible, but definitely whitening in the. Oop, this one looks a lot worse. <clears throat> Charizard sneaking out the bottom there. We have Manectric EX from Clash of Blue Sky. One, two, three copies of Manectric. Back of this one. Yeah, looking, looking like a lot of this stuff's going to be singles so far, which is fine. I mean, it, it seems like you guys really enjoy buying a lot of the singles stuff too, so... So we got a double swirl on the Jolteon here. Okay, okay. We got one, two copies of Jolteon from Team Magma vs. Aqua. Maybe it's not a double swirl. Or is it? It's like a swirl within a swirl. You see that? It's wild looking, isn't it? I like that. Um, yeah, this one's seen some some love. Unfortunate there. But I mean, again, um one thing I do say in the other videos, I'll say it just because it crossed my mind. Goal for me always when I buy is to feel comfortable paying the price for something where if I can't grade it, I can sell it raw and make a couple bucks or worst case scenario, break even. So that's usually, that's what the goal is. And um, I do pretty well with that per anymore. I, I don't, you know, I don't let a, you know, a good card that I really like tempt me into buying it, even if I don't feel comfortable with the price, you know, like I said, it's just a vibe, a feeling. If I see something, I feel like it's a good price, I buy. If I feel like it's too high, well, I simply don't buy. We got Jolteon EX from the Holland Research Tower Lightning deck. Four copies. Yeah, this one's seen some love too. Armado EX is an ADVP promo, I believe. 
this a magazine promo? I can't even remember. I feel like this is a, like probably like the most forgotten EX from this era, which I don't think it deserves that, but it uh, it definitely probably is. Back of that one does not look too bad for uh, the way these usually look. These are notorious for coming damaged just because they were peeled off to begin with. That's why they're glossy. I can't remember what the exact release is. Obviously, just from seeing that, I know they were peeled off of something, but uh, maybe it was a magazine insert. It's been a while since I actually looked at that card up close. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we have one Swampert from Team Magma vs. Aqua. Yeah, front looks great, and then you flip to the back, and, well, nope. And that's why I only pay what I feel comfortable paying, because otherwise, if I paid a premium for this, and it was said near mint, and, you know, it was supposed to be, oh my gosh, I'm going to grade this 10, or at least bare minimum a 9, and then you get that, you're going to be pretty disappointed. So, pay, pay what you feel comfortable paying. Swampert, uh, this is like Mag, not Magma vs. Aqua. Ocean's Kyogre deck. I think this one's from, but I think I lied to you on that. I think this is from. Uh, I don't want to say Earth's Groudon, but I think it might be. There's basically it's Ocean's Kyogre, and it's like an equivalent comparison with the Groudon deck. Yeah, I think that's what that is from. Not too great condition. One copy of Kingdra EX. We can already tell in the front of this one that this one is big loved. Um, this is one thing when you buy from the sites, a lot of times, just about any site. Well, I shouldn't say any site, but most of the sites. I mean, that's clearly just straight damaged. Um, a lot of times you just get like a general consensus of what condition something's going to come in. And it's just a generic picture. You don't get actual photos, which is one reason why I tell everybody you're taking a risk when you buy stuff. Which, again, is why I mitigate that risk by paying what I feel comfortable paying for the cards. We have Metacham here. EX from one of the decks, the quarter decks. Not too great. Scyther, one, two, three. Scyther EX copies. I like the non-hollow. Non-hollow uh, Scyther EX, but I, I definitely think this one would have been nice in Japanese with the hollow. Not too bad in the back of this one. Looks like something up top there, but I'll know for sure when I go through them all in depth for condition scanning for both grading and then also for putting a condition on it for singles cacturn ex also from one of the quarter decks cacturn got a little ding down there but pretty clean overall crobat ex one copy yeah crobat crobat's been well loved got vile plume ex one copy uh, plume is looking like looks like a smudge that might just wipe off uh, but that unfortunately won't wipe off venusaur ex i love this card from the venusaur ex constructed deck i was actually looking at some of these sealed decks today i might end up picking up a sealed version of this the blastoise and the charizard to uh to put on display we got one, two, three, four copies of Venusaur EX. And the back of that one's unfortunately pretty rough, but man, what a beautiful card. Top tier Venusaur for sure. I'm just glad Venusaur got an EX during that era, else I'd be pretty upset. All right, we got Entei from one of the decks. One copy. Piece of dirt there. It doesn't matter. You can see the whitening just when I tilt it around. Ho -Oh EX, one, two copies. This is a PCGP promo. And man, these are beat. Oof. Rough times for Ho -Oh. Yeah, these are big beat. Uh this is glossy. I can't remember what this is from, but it's a promo. It's a promo EX. I don't know. Is this gonna say is this japanese exclusive but i think if i remember right this came in one of the pop series packs got nine tails ex one copy from what's this not mirage forest undone seal i believe oof nine tails looking rough 
we're not off to a great start here. I mean, I know we're only checking the one copy of each, but uh, we're not looking too great here as far as grade worthy stuff from this. One, two copies of Flareon EX from the Holland Research Tower Fire. Well, that certainly isn't going to do it. I don't even know what that is. Is the front bad? It's almost like water damage is what it looks like to me. Because the card looks pretty good overall itself in the front. It just has that swelling around the edges and then that. This one, though. Yeah, this one isn't front looks good on this one too but it is not that great but they make great binder copies so flareon from magma vs aqua i love this card this is so beautiful i had a 10 of this in my collection for the longest time i don't know why i sold it but hmm that might be a keeper when i grade another one of these at some point just honestly that is such a beautiful card that's probably one of my I would say it's probably one of my favorite Harada artworks for sure. Because it doesn't feel like a Harada. Absolutely gorgeous. Typhlosion EX. This is from Typhlosion's deck. Constructed deck. One, two, three copies of Typhlosion. <laughs> yeah, front of that one looks not great. And the back of this one looks not great. So like we got a lot of singles coming up at the store. Well, you guys know how lazy I am with this stuff lately. I need to get get my uh, get my ass in gear is what I need to do. Been saying that, but um, if I keep telling myself that and keep saying it, and you know, I'm, I kind of leave myself responsible to more than just myself. I'm telling you guys I need to do it. So, got Charizard X here. This is a Coral Coral promo. Uh, we got a big old stack here. These 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I didn't, didn't know I bought 20 exactly, but 20 Charizard EXs from XYP Coral Coral Magazine. Uh, it's pretty good. I mean, this isn't a bad artwork overall. I mean, it's five band, but it's, it's not bad. And I'm... I'm I'm a big fan of the coral the stamp in the background. But look at all the wings. Let's check the back of this one. See, ooh. See, it's a magazine promo, so even though it's modern, you're not expecting mint condition. I'm sure I, there's got to be at least one gradable one. I mean, that one right there looks pretty... Pretty clean in the back. There's got to be one, at least one gradable in here, maybe more. And um, hopefully that one gradable one pays for all these. And then the rest of selling them raw just is extra cash. So, Or maybe there's five gradable ones in here. Maybe we make out good. You know, you never know. It's, uh, it's kind of like part of the gamble of this. And it's part of the fun. I don't want to say gambling's fun, but... It's a mystery. It's exciting. You know, sometimes you win big, sometimes you you lose. But if you're good at doing this, most times you're going to win. So it's better than gambling. If you're good at it, then, you know, you can mitigate your risk and make sure that you're a winner more often than none. We've got Moltres EX play promo here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice. Seven copies of the play EX Moltres. I haven't seen this one for a while, to be honest. Well, I can already see whitening on a lot of these, but it's all good. Back of this one doesn't look too bad other than the whitening. Really like these cards. I like the... There's a whole... There actually might be some of the ones. Actually, got any, got any EXs in here? Yeah, oh, no, that's crawled on. Kind of looked like it for a sec. There might be the Flareon, or yeah, the Flareon. Might be the Articuno and uh, the Zapdos in here yet. I don't know. We've got Espeon, Magma vs. Aqua, just one copy. Always thought this was a really beautiful card, too. Kind of tempted to do like an Evolution thing where I get the Umbreon, Espeon, Jolteon, Flareon, and Vaporeon all in 10. Have them for display. I think it'd be kind of cool just because they're all in this set. And they're all honestly really good artwork, too. Uh, we got Mime EX, Flight of Legends, one copy. Mr. Mime doesn't look too bad. He 
Doesn't look too bad. We've got Gardevoir EX, Miracle Desert, one copy. And that one doesn't look too bad either. So I always thought this was strange. And maybe there's something I'm missing here. I guess those two powers, those two Pokey powers are completely different. And the, this attack looks to be different or the same it's the same yeah it's the same and just the pokey powers are different and the the he's just literally like rotated like so like you, you can literally see they just flipped him like so he's facing this way hand up this way he's facing hand up and he's got his hand out in the bottom i i don't know it's been a while since i've seen these in english i don't know if there's something there's a reason for this but uh yeah, I don't know. Why do we do two mimes? We could have gave somebody else an EX. Come on now. Oh, looks like we got some of the copies messed up here. But yeah, I don't know. I always thought that was weird, but now that I'm like looking at them like actually paired together, it makes it even weirder for me. And we'll save Deoxys since we already looked at this. We got two copies of this 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 green mime EX facing this direction. Mime also looks good. And that's fine and all, but <laughs> and it, it, not that it's a bad price, but I sold a ten of that for like eighty dollars or something the other day. So it's like you get the, of course, you get the cards that are less pricey in uh, better condition, but it just is what it is. But it's just funny, like a card like this from Flight of Legends, eighty bucks in a ten. It's just wild, and that's like close to what market is right now. So that's what about what it is. Got Deoxys, also from a constructed deck. Yeah, this one don't look too great. Got Trico. Again, this is from one of the... It's either the Ocean's Kyogre or the equivalent Groudon deck. Got one, two, three copies of Trico. I like that Trico got a Psychic typing. I think that's pretty sweet. He actually got it twice, I think. There's a promo, a PCGP promo. Doesn't look bad either on this one that uh, has him that type. I think it's like Shogaku Khan Magazine. Got Flygon EX, Mirage Forest, one copy. I love Flygon. Although I think I only have one actual Flygon in my collection, like uh, the Rulers of the Heavens, PSA 10, the Hollow. Uh, Latios EX, one of the constructed decks. Oof, big corner ding, big, big uh, creases there. Delcat EX won two copies from Miracle Crystal. Yeah, Delcaddy's not looking too too hype. Clefable EX, one copy from Flail Legends. From that looks clean. Back looks a little lightning, but not bad overall. Nice, nice. Dragonite EX. One, two, three, four copies from Lords of the Heavens. It's a nice one. I think I had I had a couple of these for a while in ten, and finally sold them. Actually, I sold them to somebody. It's the person if you guys are if you've watched before that I deal with on the regular. And this is actually gonna ship out this week, but there's a ten. It's like the last time I have right now. This one will be getting put on the weekend sales recap because he just paid. So, oh, and there's just, you know, Casual Jolteon Gold Star 10. They bought that as well. And just some other lower end stuff. And then they bought some of the old back 10s from my latest PSA return. Dragonite. Looks like all these, yeah, are showing some wear and tear. Uh, we got Altaria EX. One, two, three copies from Mirage Forest. Swirl on that one. That one fits really good there. I'm 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 really starting to understand why I like people like swirls. It, it kind of makes sense. It really does accent the card. You can see we got pinhole dent, indent there. I think indents are the worst because a card could be completely mint. It could be indented on the back, but like like an indent like that, but not show through in the front. And, like, the card literally looks mint otherwise, but yet you have to list that as, like, played. And it's, like, pretty much ungradable. Like, it just, I don't know. It's just kind of sad. We've got Shift Tree EX. Oh, but those are, like, the perfect binder copies for people because they're absolutely super clean. Um, you just 
can't grade them. Well, you could, but you're just going to get a low grade. Um, Shifter EX, one, two, three copies from Miracle Crystal. I guess this order must have been a lot of EX stuff, obviously, as we're, we're seeing here. If you're wondering why I don't know or remember, even though I do sort these, um, I have a box of orders that came in specifically set aside so that I can do these videos. And I sort them out the way they're sorted here and then stash them in a box. And I usually don't touch them until I do these videos. So if I only do one of these videos once a week, I probably have like eight orders in there. By the time I get to the last one, I don't even uh, I don't even remember what, what it is. So, which is kind of fun for me too. I like that. We got Sharpedo EX from Clash of the Blue Sky. Uh, just one copy. Okay. I think Sharpedo is a really good Pokemon. It kind of flies under the radar. This is kind of a pretty cool card. Sharpedo actually has some really good cards too. Got Artich yeah, Art Art Artichokuno. Articuno EX from the I think this is the silver deck kit. I think that's how it is. I think I think the symbols are like reverse colored. So like this is black with a white background. I think it's a black background with a white stamp. <coughs> Excuse me, yeah, if it's the other side of the deck, but I could be wrong. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine copies of Articuno and I'm already gonna I just want to check this copy right away because I already felt the back of this and it, yeah it felt messed up I just felt just by dragging my hand across this something felt wrong <laughs> so that's that's a that's not a winner right off the bat but this is a really pretty card it has this beautiful foiling that's a, I think pretty exclusive to this deck and the back one is also not in that great of shape but man, that's I don't know it's a great card, to be honest. Articuno. Oh, I was saying earlier about putting these together in uh, in 10, which I think I've had almost all of them in here. We had the... Did we have the Jolteon? Yeah, we did have the Jolteon. So we had the Jolteon, Flareon, Espeon, now the Umbreon. The only one that wasn't in here was the Vaporeon, which we have water yet, so it could be in here. That'd be kind of cool. But we got Umbreon, Team Magniverse Aqua. One, two, three, four copies of it. I mean, this is just, it's a beautiful card. Absolutely beautiful. Back of this one, not so beautiful, but still a beautiful card, you know? That's a good one. Good one, good one. All right. We have Moltres EX. Yeah, see? See what I was saying about the stamp? So this one, I think, is the black deck kit because it has the black background with the white stamp. It made it very subtle on how to tell the difference, even though both decks come in the uh, same box. We got Rockets Moltres. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven copies of Rockets Moltres EX. Again, with the crazy kind of speckled sparkle foiling. Back of this one, definitely not perfect, but definitely not too bad overall. It's not a really good card. Is this you eat to do this one too? Yeah. All right, then we have Melodic EX from the quarter deck. One, two, three copies of Melodic. I don't think I've graded a 10 of this. I feel like if there's many copies as I bought, it's inevitable at some point. But back of this one doesn't look too bad. A little bit of waiting in the left corner there. But we got Squirtle. Again, this is the Ocean's Kyogre deck. That's what that symbol is. Just one copy of Squirtle. I know there's a lot of just like little things randomly tossed in here. I know this is one of them. Little indent there. It's unfortunate. Indent, indent. Overall clean card in the front. It's kind of what I was talking about earlier. It's a really good Squirtle by Saito. We got Vaporeon EX from the Holland Research Tower. Water deck. One, two, three, four, five copies of Vaporeon. 
Ooh, that one's got, got some crazy orbs going on there. Porion EX looking a little rough in the back. But again, to be expected. Nice card overall. Well, I will say, like, he's got... What's going on with his foot there? Like, what is... It's kind of like, it's like clay and it got squished. See that? Like, why is... Uh, okay, so I see it. So they just didn't do the outline heavy enough, and that's his foot. So his foot's sticking in there. It's making it look like a flipper. It's making it look like a little little scoopy flipper flap thing there but it's actually just his foot melding together and they didn't do the lines dark enough to tell interesting huh the more you know all right we got articuno ex this is also play promo like the moltres from earlier one two three four five copies of articuno who did this this is nakayoka Definitely unique style. Articuno looks like super pale in this one. Mm, back of this one, not too great. But unless it's just that one. No, it's just a very pale Articuno. Not that it's not a pretty looking one, but I like the snowflakes and everything. We just got snow yesterday, so snow outside for the first time in a little while as we creep to the end of winter and hopefully into spring here. Um, I'm ready for spring. I love snow. I like like fall and I like snow in winter, Christmas time, New Year's, but by the time we hit February, I'm uh, I'm ready to get out of this. I'm ready for springtime, ready to go swimming, I'm ready just to uh enjoy the summer. I mean doing stuff around the house, just ready for it. Uh we got Kyogre EX here. This is that Ocean's Kyogre deck one. This is that uh same symbol so this i don't know I, we're we're all off on on what deck they're from it, it, it's a stupid symbol it literally is this way or it's like another way like it's flipped around like i i don't understand it yeah not great uh crawled on ex from the gift box i don't know which quarter deck this would have been from but crawled on does not look too bad Blastoise EX, one, two, three, four copies of Blastoise EX. Um, same thing as the Venusaur earlier. This is from the Constructed deck. Ooh, little swirl on that one, little swirl. I feel like this was definitely an interesting take on Blastoise, but I, I've always liked this. I like this trio a lot, which is why I kind of want to... Um, I've had all of them in 10 before, graded. I sold those a while ago. I probably have them all raw at this point but i think it'd be kind of cool to collect this trio um in the in the decks because they had the, the really cool like typing colored coins in the front like bulbasaur squirtle and then charmander and they display well too creeping up to the end here this one we have reg icx from undone seal is what this is i think yeah i said it earlier but when i looked at it it didn't seem right when i said that not too great on that one, but this one does have the crazy sparkle cracked ice foiling. I don't know why they decided to do that randomly with, like, what, it's these three and then the Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. Got the same treatment or a similar treatment. Again, with this stupid stamp, we have Blastoise, one copy. Last place, not looking great. He is using Withdrawal. Uh, Scizor EX, one, two copies of Scizor from Golden Sky Silvery Ocean. Scizor, first glance, not looking too bad. We will see later on. It's a good card. It kind of, a little strange. Like, I don't know why they, like... It kind of really contorted him. I don't know if they wanted to really emphasize, like, I don't know, if to get, like, the little... It's kind of funny when I think about it. This looks like Trap Inch. Like, got the little eye thing going on there in the same jaw pattern, which, funny enough, Trap Inch. Maybe, maybe I got Trap Inch on the brain. I discovered the other day that they have a Pokemon Center official Trap Inch stapler. I know that might sound dumb to you guys, but considering I staple stuff all the time, like I use stapler when I'm packaging, all that kind of stuff, 
feel like it's necessary. I find uh, fine when it doesn't pick it up, but it was out of stock. That's why I just didn't buy it then and there. But, I don't know. I like this card. It's just when you really start to stare at it, you're like, what was, what was the purpose of, like, he's like, claw across body, claw underside of body, like, I don't know. Maybe he's using sword dance, sword dance, I don't know. Only Arita knows he drew it. And speaking of Arita, we have Registeel EX from Undone Seal. One, two, three copies. Now, something I've told other people about before, and I can just tell by feeling this, that it's a different texture and a different foiling than anything from this era. Um, I had some English copies or an English copy of each one of these, the Registeel, Ice, and Rock. And the way that I sleeve them, um, and, and again, this could be incorrect. This could just be me not remembering. But they got put in a binder. They were in the binder. And when I pulled them out, probably like last year, two years ago, whenever it was now, they all had like foiling. Like the foiling was almost scrunched and like, like wrinkled and peeled off it, it it was so weird it was really strange uh, i'll have to i'll have to pull them out see if i can find them sometime to to show it but it, it was super weird um and i partly think that it had to do with like either not enough moisture or t uh too much moisture like too much humidity um something with this foiling not liking either or of those i'm not really sure my guess would be it doesn't like too little moisture and then like shrinks and constricts and and crunches up but it's just something i noticed with this foiling now it may not be the same with the japanese ones even though again this is just, like you can feel it you can feel this like it's almost like they made the ex like every other ex and then they just laid this layer of uh cracked ice foiling on top that's the way this feels so yeah, just be aware with these. Uh, maybe just store them a little extra careful if you have them. Or just keep an eye on them because, again, it just seemed odd that all three of those got a weird, like, bowing and scrunching and the foiling just all got weird. Um, it's just very strange. But back of this one, not too great, but still a great-looking card. They're tough to grade, too. And it looks like we got – oh, no. I was going to say Metagross is the last. We got Metagross EX is second last. Metagross EX is meh, not great condition. And lastly, this is actually a really pretty card as well by Midori Harada. I kind of like EX era Harada better than like now Harada. Um, a lot actually. I, I I don't know. Like this just, this just looks perfect. I don't know. Just a beautiful Steelix. Steelix is in what looks to be pretty good condition. Look at that foiling on that. We got swirl on the side, swirl on the side. Orbs everywhere. Steelix just looking up at the sky, living his best life. Just a really good card. But yeah, that about does it for this one. Again, $1,500 in cards. Uh, looked pretty rough overall, condition-wise, with a lot of the stuff we were looking at. But, like I said earlier, goal is to get them at a price I feel I'm comfortable with that I can sell them for a profit or break-even raw. So, not worried about it, never worried about it, just because, again, I follow my own rules and uh, have a system. And, yeah, I don't know. Just fun doing these videos, though. Fun going through this stuff. And, uh, yeah, something I said in the last video, um, even though it's been, like, two, three weeks since I did one of these... If there's anything you guys saw in this video that you want me to get listed, like, right away, comment it below, um, say what you want me to list, and I'll make sure that I put that as a priority. I'll get those up sooner than later because realistically, you know, if I just had to go list, you know, these Charizards, even though there's, like, 20, I think it was 20 of them, you know, I could easily go through those, condition scan, get listed, and be done, you know, with all the scans and everything listing probably, like, 10 minutes get all 20 copies listed maybe even less than that to be honest so it's not that big of a deal the the biggest thing it takes time is condition checking and then after that like i have a scanner that takes care of everything else you know you have a listing you have the conditions i find near mint pricing and then i have a calculator that finds that does the rest of the pricing for me on anything lower than near mint 
And um, yeah, it's pretty simple from there. So again, if you guys want anything in here listed, ASAP, going through and listed, just comment it below. I'll put that on the priority list. I already have somebody that wanted some vending and VS stuff listed this next week. Um, not specifically from these videos, but just vending and VS in general. So I'm going to try to get that done for them. Um, probably like Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, I know I have a lot of, I don't know if I have a lot of vending to be honest to list, but I know I have a good amount of VS stuff, not so much variety, but more so, um, like more so like just individual typing. I think I have a lot of normal typing. And I have a lot of trainers, which the trainers are actually pretty rare. And I think I've, people have been asking for me to list those for a while. So maybe that'll attract some people. I don't know, but yeah, this is a fun one. As always, guys, like, subscribe, comment down below, or don't. But either way, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you.